Hello, and welcome to Stats Race Lens. Today, we're going to learn how to manage angles and create new angles within Stats Race Lens. First, to access your angles, you simply click the Manage Angles button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Inside the Manage Angles page, you have a few options. You can either set highlight thresholds, create new angles, or activate or deactivate angles. So what activating and deactivating angles means, it simply refers to whether or not your angles will appear on the Today's Races page or in the past performances. So right now, all of my angles are active. So if I go back to the home screen, I will see in this angles match columns as I scroll on the page that I'll have my, all these angles appear. So the green refers to a positive angle and the red angles refer to negative angles. If I scroll back up and click Manage Angles, and then deactivate all of my angles, and click Save, and then go back to the home screen, I will see that all of these angles are gone, so none of my angles will appear. And then I'll reactivate all my angles again, because I actually like having them all there. The other option you have in the Manage Angles page is to set highlight thresholds. So that refers to whether these angles appear red, green, or neutral. So green, like I said before, refers to good angles, red refers to negative angles, and neutral just is everything in between. So if I look at my highlight thresholds here, for a positive angle, it must have a success score greater than or equal to six, and an ROI greater than or equal to negative 5.1. For my negative angles, it's uh, less than or equal to a success score of three, and an ROI less than or equal to negative 33%. So if I click Save here, um, all my angles will appear like that, but I can change this however much I want. So let's say I want only the best angles to appear as a positive angle. What I can do is increase this by clicking the plus button. Let's say I want to make it eight. So we'll click to eight, and then I want to make my ROI just positive. So I can either, I can just type in zero and then click save. And you'll see that a lot of my angles that were green have now turned neutral. Same thing for red negative angles. Let's say I wanted only the worst of the worst angles to be red. I can lower this down to one, let's say one. Success score of one and an ROI of let's say negative 50. Click Save, and now a lot of my red angles have disappeared. And you can change this, like I said, however much you want, uh, or however little you like. The final thing you can do in this page is create a new angle. So to do that, you simply click the Create a New Angle button in the top right-hand corner. Now on this page, you'll see there's four criteria you can select from. There's the Filter, Profile, Stat, and Case. Filter refers to general information about the race itself and the track. So you can see information, you can actually pick a track, information about the surface, the actual course, the distance of the race, the class of the race, and so on. Profile refers to general information about the horse and its connections. So you can see some information about the trainer and choose a specific trainer by clicking include trainer list. Same sort of thing with the jockey, horse, you can choose uh, the surface, distance, class, all that sort of stuff, sire, and dam. Stat refers to the horse's connections and those connections' performance in specific situations. So you can see how a horse has done in today's distance uh, by win percentage, in the money percentage, or ROI. You can sort by uh, the trainer's performance on dis uh, by distance with Lasix, with blinkers. Same thing for jockey, sire, and dam as well. Case allows you to sort by the other miscellaneous information like gender, equipment, uh, medication, all that sort of stuff by workouts, and uh, win true odds, win percentage, and things like that. 
So let's create a few angles here and uh, show you how this works in real life. So I was just at Keeneland the other day and it was raining and I really wanted to know how do horses actually perform while running on the slop and what sort of running styles performs best. So I wanted to find out how front runners perform on the slop at Keeneland. That was the specific one. So I'm going to type in and create a new angle here. So, so I'm going to say a sloppy key front runner. So the first thing I'll do is I'll click filter to choose the track. So I click track, include track list, and we'll type in Keeneland, and then select it right there, and then click add criteria. You always have to click add criteria before you switch between criteria sections. And then I also wanted to see uh, how it was going to do with the track conditions. I want to know if it was sloppy. So I want to say slop. Sloppy. And we'll click Add Criteria. And then I wanted to find out how front runners did. So I'm going to click on Profile, Horse, scroll down to Run Style. And then I'm going to say uh, on the lead at first call. So the horse just gets the lead right out of the gate. We'll click that, click Add Criteria. And now this is the angle. So we see at the top, Keeneland, sloppy track, on the lead at first call. So now that it's named, I just click Save. And then I want to see actually how it performs. So I'll click Back Test and wait for it to calculate. When it calculates, you'll see in the top right-hand corner of your screen a little bell icon with a little number one pop-up uh, that's the notification that your back test is completed. Okay, now that I've seen that pop up, I can look at how it actually performs. So there are 29 total races in the past year that were on a sloppy track at Keeneland, uh, 29 total starters, and then the win percentage for those horses who were the first uh, on the lead at the first call is 28%, place is 10%, and show is 14% a really nice success score of 7.7, .7, that's out of 10, and then an even better ROI of 41%. So I can see that front runners running in the mud at Keeneland do very, very well. So I have a, a good angle to kind of use in handicap with. This was how to manage and create new angles within Stats Race Lens. Have a great day, everybody.